you know, you know, today something interesting happened to me. A person asked me a question on WhatsApp. He asked me, uh, like, a certain interpretation, explanation, translation for, for a verse in Isaiah, in Isaiah 14. And he's quoting in English. Like, he sends me the English quote. And over there, in English, it's written, one of the, like what like a name of 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 the devil um, lucifer they call him and like i read it and it's written in ishaya like and i know that the name lucifer doesn't written in ishaya like it's a joke like there's nothing no recollection to the name lucifer in ishaya like no one is talking about lucifer like what what's lucifer it's like it's a it's a christian imagination that someone brought into a trust translation to the Bible to the books like there is no like source to that name at all it's like it's it's a legend that's a legend that's a story tale and I tell him okay you know what I'll check and I just like open the simple like the the book like I, I read the, the source and and like it's not talking about an angel that fell from heaven and it doesn't like nothing refer to the concept that is translated like you're gonna talk to an English speaker a Christian person that doesn't really know the source that doesn't know how to to go and search the source the Hebrew handwrites and like he must base his belief on the translations that been translated by people that or that they had like wrong intentions while translating the book or that they couldn't understand what's really written over there and they just like misinterpret the real intention of the verse all the story over there is a rebuke to the king of Babylon that was very arrogant and thought that he's able to climb above the sky and to reach the heavens and the and Ishaya the prophet told him you're gonna fall and you're gonna hit the ground and the and and the hell under it and you don't have the power to climb. And when over there the rebuke is, is saying on him that he was praising himself, but he's only a creation that can die with dawn, like as early as the day starts, like because he's so nothing, he's only a human being. That person that interpreted that book, that translated that book to English, thought that those three names that were explaining that he was arrogant and that he will die, he thought that it's a name. Instead of explaining the real meaning of those through <coughs> three <coughs> words, Hillel, Hillel ben Shacha, three words, that he was praising himself, but he's about to fall early in the morning because he's not able to continue his journey because he's only a human being with no future if the Creator won't extend his life. Instead of understanding that that's the intention of those three words, the translator to English translated it as a name, Hillel ben Shachar. Oh, nice name, amazing name. But it's not a name. There is no recollection to a person named Hillel ben Shachar. There was no Shachar. There was no Hillel. It's not a name of a son of a father, a child of his father named Shachar. No, it's not a name. It's only an explanation, a deep explanation of Ishaya, Navi, the prophet, that the king of Babylon will fall because he's nothing. He's, he's homeless. <coughs> he's a man. But hundreds of like thousands millions of people in in hundreds of generations will believe that lucifer the angel of light oh sorry <laughs> then fell down to the darkness whatever so like it's nonsense like and it's only because that like people don't understand like the source like the the the, the holy ancient language of of, of the hebrews so he asked me, so what we the English speakers going to do? I told him, you say, I'll answer all your questions, just like send me a WhatsApp and I'll answer you, no problem. <laughs>